Oh, they, did they put up the missing ball again? Huh, interesting. Last time I was here, there was a ball missing in front of the billiard triangle. Ah, uh, that won't work. Come on! Don't you know how to play billiard? Give it a little more oomph. Yay! Whatever. Alright, let's see. Actually, what kind of generator is this? I mean, first of all, what does it turn into energy? And second of all, how does it produce 1.21 gigawatts through this small of a cable also? Hmm. Run for your life! Cutscene. Thank you, cutscene. I would have just ran a run, but okay. Hmm. Does he shoot at them from up? I guess it's UV light. Can you please? Thank you. There we go. So I guess it's UV light. Which explodes them. Maybe maybe B12 will get an upgrade. Cheer! I guess that's a cheer. Amazing! You got the generator back on! Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It def it's definitely a way out of here. Wait a minute. You might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Oh yeah, there we go. Upgrade time. Wait, this huge thing. E. Be careful there. Good old P2, uh, P12. I still need this one. Ah, uh, okay. It worked. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone here. It's not meant to run off s such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. So what do we do? Take out all those circs so we can get through. LB. Ah, that's why the light always came up when I pressed LB. Alright, I'm gonna end your misery. Hi. Bye. It's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Well, you said it could malfunction, but okay. Let it, cool, let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. What about the big one? Why don't we have two now? Why would you hand over your best your weapon to the little cat if you could just use it on... Uh, whatever. Doesn't make, make sense, right? Doesn't have to make sense. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Uh... Okay. You just stand here and stare at the door while I fix... Okay. I guess that's how it works down here. Wow! Very, very difficult puzzle it is. Oh, come on. Stay over there. Ugh. Actually difficult. There we go. Come on, go a little faster, Red. Why is there red lights in here? It's not Dark Souls, Gilgenas. You don't have to check every corner. But, but... Aww. Uh-oh. <laughs> Funny. Well, that was a close call. See, that's why you shouldn't have given me your only weapon. I can still run from them, you can't. Phew, that was close. Let's go back home. I'm just gonna go back and guard you a little. Actually, what way is this? We came in a completely different way. Maybe it is the, the other door we saw at some point, at the beginning when we stepped outside of the slums. It is. Sonny! Daddy! Yay! Why couldn't he... Charges. I mean, the problem wasn't that the Zergs would have gotten them when he went to the generator that blew the fuse, right? So why couldn't he just take the, the deflux with him to the generator, charge it there directly? Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is not alone. Well, I guess he couldn't have made it back this way without our help, right? Because he couldn't crawl through the crawl space up there. Okay, now we know that he can fight back against the Zergs. 
Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Dark and Shamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Meet. Hey, Teddy, what's up, Rosie? Oh, Billy, how long have you been gone, actually? Do you know my son, Seamus? It's thanks to him that I came back from the damn place. Actually, it's thanks to me, but okay. He didn't want to. Sure, I'm so happy he's back. Oh, and did you meet that weird orange creature walking around? You must see him walking around. Hey, I'm down here. Hello. Thank you. Don't talk about me behind my back, please. Oh, that's the sewer entrance. I don't think that's been opened before, right? Momo is waiting for you in, on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted to? Yeah, that's the problem. Because I closed the door behind you. Don't want any zergs coming through. Mm. I always wanted to get to the sewers, right? Who doesn't want to pay the sewers in the city? Yeah. Glorious. Closing the door. Well, kind of looks the same like everywhere else. You sure there's not just, you know, the sewers everywhere? Oh, in there. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Let's go on your beautiful little raft here. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxer. With this now we can go to find Spaldazar. Let's go! Oh yeah, I'm so looking forward to this... Lighting the way, right? Hmm. The sewers. At least we don't have to row ourselves. Or, you know, like... Paddle in the water or whatever. This place is creepy. I agree. It's for sure only gonna get better, right? Those Cirque lookouts up there for sure won't be telling their friends that we're here. I still wonder why all of this is so intact. When they can just eat anything. Ugh. Oh. I see a problem in front. I don't see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? Yeah, sure. I wonder if Momo will actually make it alive. Alright. What the end do, they, do I need to... Push or press so well, there's a lot of buttons. Or lights, not too well, there's also a lot of switches, hmm. E. So like X. Okay, I didn't really expect them to hatch. When I light them with the defluxer, I have to admit. Oh, but it actually unlocked the switch, okay. It really is surprising how intelligent this cat is, right? I mean, it, it understands English, so it has to be a, quite, quite a special cat. Never been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. Yeah, for sure, I wouldn't be scared with my cats around, right? They wouldn't, like, run away at the first sight of danger. No, 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 they would for sure protect me from everything. But if they actually actually explode using UV light... I think it is actually UV light. I mean, UV light isn't actually violet, right? You can't see it. But maybe that's what they want to hint at by coloring it violet. It would mean that the outside would be perfectly safe from Zergs, right? And that erecting the dome around this place would have been exactly what they didn't, sh uh, shouldn't have done. If, you know, UV light from the sun or whatever would actually make them all explode. Hmm. Maybe it's not UV light. Imagine handing your life, giving, handing over your life to a cat, having a cat protect you. Well, I mean, if it was this cat. All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Uh, you think I'm gonna do that? Slippery when wet. So you pull. You're a strong guy. Wow. Big. Jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Okay. And then what? I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. And if I install this on Clementine, tell them I was brave. Back? Are you just... Are we just leaving him behind? Uh... Okay. They sure have a fancy for those very old looking bicycles. It's like the same model all over the city. <clears throat> There we go. Awfully bright in here. Yeesh! Ah, green sludge. Oh, that's okay. It's only like ankle deep. Still, ugh. Um. Not sure I want to explode them. Oh, I'm not sure I need to. I, I for sure want to. They're just stuck in the wall. Completely normal thing to happen. Come on, we need to find a way for Momo. We can't just leave him there, right? Luge. Ish. Well. Oh, come on. Now I don't know which way to go. Oh no, a junction. How can they do this to us? Hey, memory. 
The sewer system, yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. Sanders showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Hmm. I wonder if there's Zerg's on the outside as well, because we for sure didn't see any in the beginning, right? Yay, more rusty pipes. Why wouldn't we walk over more rusty pipes? No bad experiences with those at all, right? Just follow another uh, tubey path. And more eggs. Can I touch them to make them explode? Yeah, I can. Oops. Well, it's not like... Not like the two of you would be... Dangerous. Wow, it's awfully foggy down here. Well, that's a lot. A lot of goo. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Taking it like a champ, little B12 over there. Overeating? No problem. Oh, not a chase sequence or... No? Okay, we just blow them all up. Why the sudden change of music though? You know when I saw any promotional material for this game? I didn't expect there to be so much goo and sludge and... Stuff. Creepy stuff. I more expected there to be, you know, like, robots. And basically like us wandering around Tokyo, which is inhabited by robots or something like that. Then again, I haven't really seen a lot of promotional material for the game anyway, so... Hi? Now it's getting creepy. Remember when I said it reminded me of Soul Calibur? Yeah, that's exact. See what I meant? Why did the earth start shaking? Gonna make the, the eyes explode? No. Friends? Hmm. Are these like super zerks? Holy crap, what's going on? Suddenly a horror game! I mean, I guess you could just run past all of this, right? But. You know, that wouldn't be as much fun, right? Are we through? Did we make it? No. Also, I'm so lost, I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I guess the game knows where I'm going, but I mean, if, if I was Red 14, how would I... The hell, how would I know where I was needed to go, right? We're just running somewhere. Hmm. Hey, look, it's sleeping. Oh, isn't it cute? That's where the suspenseful mu music. Being confident in that the game knows where we're going. Oh, I guess I need to unlock both sides. Ah, perfect, I woke up the eyes. Good morning! Will I bring you breakfast? Is that what you want? We don't serve cat today, though, so please. Oh, please, is it on a timer now? Ouch. Not sure if I'd like this gameplay, to be honest. I mean, it's not really dangerous or anything, you can just explode. Whoa. Explode them, right? It's kind of annoying. With the formula for good old point-and-click adventures in the end where you have a, an element of stress that adds to the puzzles in the game. I don't think that's the last area in the game, though. I guess it's just a stressful intermission of some sort. For example, in Monkey Island, I, I don't really remember all of them, but I think in Monkey Island 2 it was like you had LeChuck, like, randomly appear or after a timer appear in the room you were in and if he got you, he just, like, tortured you using the voodoo doll or something and you reappeared in a different room or something like that. Which isn't what is happening right here, because you couldn't really do anything against LeChuck, but uh, here you can just blow them all up, so... Ugh, the eyes are getting bigger and bigger, I don't like that at all. Can't we go back to the cute, you know, cat and robot theme? I like that a lot more than having the literal overmind in here. So what happens when this big eye opens? Ah, uh, cutscene, who'd expect that? Memories? Control going off there. B12, help, please. B12, hello? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I shouldn't have talked, right? Remember when I said it wasn't stressful because we could, could just kill them all? <laughs> well, but now we don't have to solve puzzles. That was the, that was the point with the stressful areas in the end of old older games, right? That you still had to find items and solve puzzles and stuff. I mean, I still kind of like, kind of like those 
chase sequences. I mean, they're still not difficult that far. I mean, the first time I died was really just because I thought I had to cut the corner to the left there. Just ran into a fence. Hmm. I would like there to be more, you know, puzzly stuff and more find items and bring them to out of nowhere. But that's just my personal preference. E12? Oh, there we go. That was easy. Just needed a few. Pets. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my call. The defluxer is completely destroyed now. We'll have to be careful. Ah. Surprise. Hack ventilation system. Go. That didn't seem... Well. Oh, never mind. But we still have the light. We just don't have the defluxer anymore. Okay. Uh, well, conveniently, there's no Zergs around now, right? Oh, I still can't believe it just left Momo around. Oh, look, it's the outsider sign. Are they just behind here? Conveniently, cat shape pool. And Zergs, I mean, I guess small Zergs could get through there, no? Hey, we found that. Well, it would be funny if it just looped back around to the slums. <laughs> but I guess we found them, actually. Hi. Baladin? I've never heard of a Baladin. Maybe they had kids. I guess robots have to have kids somehow, right? Chala from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Or maybe other ones have been going there before. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? Yeah, that's me. Spaltasar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Also, he's kind of like the elder. Ooh. Aunt village? Why aunt? Any ants around? Looks pretty nice, but I'm not sure if I would prefer to live here or in the slums, to be honest. Because this is just a dump. A literal dump. Well, I guess they kind of like dumps, right? They like to find stuff in the dump, so... I guess it's kind of fitting. I wonder what these sarcophagus are for, if they're like... Boxes where they've been shipped in, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. Yeah, I do wonder. Or is, is that why they digitalized their consciousness to get into a robot? Oh, that would explain why the one robot in the beginning was hooked up to one of these things, right? Huh, maybe. He was sick. Yeah. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. Yeah, okay, so he digitalized his consciousness and transferred it into a robot. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. You are the scientist. Come on. I think that's what I said in the beginning, right? It would make sense because, of course, he would have been living in the flat. And we, we saw that the robot was hooked up to this machine. So he probably wanted to transfer his consciousness into the machine, but something went wrong. And instead he transferred it into the network. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. So there we go. Yeah, until a little cat appeared. Thank you. Was it? It was. Me. I was the scientist. I was human. Yeah, I guess all of you were. Uh, all of the machines were human at some point. Would explain a lot. I need a moment. 